We have a mail order company where we cook tenderloins. We're doing this in an oven where normally I would do this in big barbecue pits and smokers and things like that. Well, what, what goes in the coating that goes on this? Well, this is a seasoning. We want to start with that. Yeah, a little oregano. Little oregano. And onion. Yeah. A little black pepper. Nice coarse black pepper, granulated yes. garlic. Little What's this one, salt. bouillon? Yes. A little bouillon? And, and beef bouillon just adds that extra flavor, it which does. is nice. It makes a lovely, and lovely so, richness in that mixture and a little white pepper too. I like that, white and black, because they hit different places on your palate. We started with about six pounds of tenderloin, mm -hmm. and we've removed all the fat and all the it's beautifully connection. Right. And for example, this piece was on this side, and I've taken it off just because- And separated well, that tenderloin. Well, the way we do it, this is the way I want to do the barrel. But all of this is still good. Delicious oh, yes. and tender, so, yeah. So that's why we put a coating on it, to yes. give it extra flavor, right? So I'm going to put a little olive oil on this if I... Yeah, go ahead, drizzle away. And then just pack it on in there? Yeah. Let me I, help. I, let me put a little on this side, yeah. There you go. And so... You coat him on up? We'll do that. Now, now, the nice thing is with this, in an oven, you don't have to do a barbecue pit or, or Eat right, do that. it just kind of takes care of itself. Right, throw it on the pan there. And so we're putting this on a rack. We're gonna put it in a 475 degree oven. Gotcha, so it's gonna cook real quick. And I'll do that, and then it comes out, looks like that guy. And it will, we'll have it in there at 475 for about 10 minutes, and then we'll turn it to 425. Gotcha, turn 20. it back. Yeah. Okay, come on down this way. Minutes. Now, is this one of the sauces you like to serve with it? Well, that's a romalade sauce, which sounds funny. I think of romalade with seafood. I do too, yeah. Well, I think one day we were having some shrimp with a sauce and oh, somebody, like a and turf. And yeah. somebody put it on the tenderloin and, and said like, that, that's, that has that's good. Nice to taste. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's break it down for everybody. So you started with, what's your base, mayo? Yes. Okay, capers. What you got there? This parsley? Is parsley. A little parsley. What's next there, chopped pickles? Pickles. Yep. Oh, anchovy paste, that's good. Get some yeah. of that in there. Now we're gonna have to kind of. Yeah, nudge that in. Excuse me. No, that's fine, I'm gonna keep on stirring. Keep going there, horseradish. A little spice, a little heat. Oh, Old Bay? Old Bay. Ooh, I love me the Old Bay. That smoked paprika. Yeah. This is good. This is going to be delicious. And this is mustard. Yeah, little grainy mustard. I'll scoop that in. And these are sweet pickles. Oh, a little sweet pickle relish and Worcestershire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's good. That is glorious. And then you serve it up with some guacamole, too? Yes. Wow! Now, with a tenderloin, mm. since it does not have fat in it, mm. if you, you get it, it to too done, watered, all right. of a sudden it becomes dry and, and tough. What, what temp you pull it? About 130? About 130, and we let it, it, let it, let it, it rest. It'll rest, yeah. and, then the ten, and then it will dwell. Mm. But so try that. And tell I me. am going to try it. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all can learn everything you want to know about making perfect Perini Ranch style food at home when you can't get down to Buffalo Gap, because that cookbook will be right there for you.